Hi. The next type of motions that we're about to discuss are this house believes that motions, or also, which are also known as judgment debates. Motions are often not about actions that are being performed, but about value judgments at large that can be made about them. For example, if a motion were to read, this house believes that benevolent dictatorships are better than weak democracies. I'm just going to put this up on a screen for you so that it's easier to follow. Yep. In the case of such a motion, you have to assume that harms and benefits can coexist on both sides of the house. Teams should weigh their side against the other to prove minimal opportunity cost in deriving the benefit and therefore the greatest net benefit at large on their side. Here, you don't need a model per se, but in your setup, you might want to describe what benevolent dictatorships may look like and what weak democracies in contrast look like with a couple of features and examples. If the motion specifies a comparison, opt teams have to defend the comparison. If not, opt teams can go ahead and make a choice or support a basket if necessary. For example, if the motion is, this house believes that drone strikes are the most effective means in the war on terror, opt teams can go ahead and choose a particular other form of war, or it can go ahead and choose a mix and say, any of these methods are still better than drone strikes. A video to watch for reference on motion types like this is the WSTC 2019 round three motion on the uh, round three debate on the motion, this house believes that creating new lead characters for minority actors, for example, Hancock, Black Panther, is better than recasting them in existing roles already played by other actors, for example, Ghostbusters, Little Mermaid, etc. Um, please note that before you watch this video, you should try and make a setup for this debate by yourself, then watch the debate and compare and see how you do in comparison to the teams in this round to basically check if you're going on the right track when it comes to motions like this. The second type of motions then is this house believes that X should do Y type of motions. These may need model-like setups depending on if there are multiple ways to do Y. However, it is important to remember that it, you have to prove that X is likely to do Y exactly in the manner that is being described by your team. For example, if the motion is this house believes that schools should slot students into classrooms according to the relative academic performance. Here, you could do it either by their overall average based on separate subjects, or you could potentially pick one. In these motions, proposition has to show an obligation for the actor to go ahead and implement the policy using some criteria. For example, proposition could say, this is better for the education of students at large. Opposition based on this motion, <coughs> excuse me, can take the position that the actor doesn't have an obligation to do this, or that they have an obligation to specifically do something else instead. In this case, we could say that schools have an obligation not to do this and can use the role of schools in promoting cohesion and diversity, effectively stating that students directly benefit from interacting with other students from diverse academic backgrounds. Um, and the fact that this intermingling can go ahead and benefit the all round development of students at large. A video to watch on a similar motion theme is the WSTC 2018 grand final on the motion, this house believes that the West should end all arms sales and military cooperation with Saudi Arabia. Again, before you watch this video, I strongly recommend trying to come up with a setup for this debate by yourself, then comparing it with how the teams do in this round, just to make sure that you're following the right track and getting some practice for yourself as well. The final type of motions then that we will discuss under THPT motions are actor motions. So actor motions are usually phrased like this house as X would do something. There is always a defined actor in an actor motion. So the first thing you should be doing when you get an actor motion at a tournament is to ask yourself, what are the incentives of this actor? What are their motivations? What is likely to drive them? What are the things this actor is likely to care about? 
An important clarification here is that incentives can be principles as well. A common misconception is, is incentives usually look like things like actors wanting to earn money because those seem to be the most intuitive incentives that an actor may have. Please note that individuals can also go ahead and hold morals, principles, and values very passionately in their lives. So these can similarly, just like other things like money, caring about their family or caring about their community, also be equally important to the actor. Um, so just as a reminder, an incentive for an actor can both be principle as well as practical. For example, if the motion is this house as an incredibly popular and skilled footballer would boycott the FIFA World Cup in Qatar, you have to go ahead and highlight a conflict of incentives that an individual like this might go ahead and face. Sure, they would care about their career and potentially earning money through sponsorships at a tournament like FIFA, but are they also likely to care about what is the kind of messaging that they're sending out to their fans at large? Now that they're this incredibly successful sports personality, how is this individual likely to want to use the platform that they have been able to earn through years of hard work within their life? Please note, however, that you have to prove why is the incentive that your team brings up about an actor likely to be um, an incentive that the actor actually cares about. So it's simply not enough to say that these are the actor's incentives. You also have to prove why is it likely that these are the incentives that an actor cares about. An important point of differentiation here is if the motion were instead phrased as, this house believes that an incredibly popular and skilled footballer should boycott the FIFA World Cup in Qatar, this debate would no longer be an actor debate. You would, you would become a third person objective spectator commenting on the overall net good or net harm that may accrue from this actor going ahead and participating or not participating in the World Cup at large. Whether or not the actor directly benefits from this would no longer be a part of this debate. A debate to watch which deals with actor emotions is the OWSDC 2020 Grand Final on the motion this house as a talented middle class person would choose the job that they are passionate about. We will, of course, link all of the videos that we have mentioned um, throughout this video in the caption above. Um, and I hope this helped. Thank you.